as you can tell, not on the Fox River in Deep Pier anymore. We're actually in Ohio, so welcome to Ohio. We are on Lake Erie today. We're doing some trolling. Weather finally cleared up enough to get the cameras out and do some filming today. So trolling for walleyes out here. It's been a good bite, even though the weather's kind of been on and off the last couple of days. We've been on some nice fish, and I wanted to take you guys along today on a little trolling trip on Lake Erie to kind of show you guys what the bite can be like out here. We are with the full crew today. We got Jeff, we got Johnny, and of course we got Max. You guys have seen him in some previous videos on this channel as well. So if you guys are new here, definitely go down, smash the subscribe button down below. I got a lot of sweet content coming out this spring, this summer, and got some hunting content coming to this fall as well. So if you're into any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up too. That helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. But we got boards trolling already, got some cameras set up. We're all ready to uh, catch some fish. Um, basically just play the waiting game now. So stick with us, stay tuned. Hopefully it's a good day. Is it still on here, John? No? Yeah, it's gone. Max net. Fish, outside board. Dad, you're up. First fish of the day, not, not an absolute tank, but it's also not a tiny one. Well, even though we're in Lake Erie, we, we still bring a little bit of uh, Green Bay gold with us. That's the Packer colors right there. Nice first fish. We're gonna throw him in the live well. We can keep a limit of fish today to bring home. We're doubled up, lost that oh, it's one. On the top of the water. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Don't worry, it could've been. There's one. Oh, yeah. There you go, Cody. Jeff's hoping it comes off. <laughs> well, it just turned into a triple all of a sudden. He's right there. Oh, dang, it didn't come off. It's not terrible. It's definitely, uh, you can beat it with Nice work, Jeff. <laughs> Might have just came off. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gone. Oh, look what beta came on too. Ow. Yo, walleye candy special. It's a cow speckle with some UV tape on it. A few moments later. Get that board off. Marking fish. Just had a triple, lost one of them. Got two in the box. This will be the third one. So get them up to the surface, kind of try and haul them in a little quicker so they don't head shake as much. That's when you lose them. Well. This is our third fish in the boat. We had that triple earlier, lost one of those fish. Got two of them in the boat though, but this is what we're running out here. This is a Bandit, this is a deep diving walleye crankbait. And uh, this is actually a custom bait from the walleye candy version of the Bandits. Basically it's the custom painted Bandit with a little bit of UV tape on there. And that UV tape kind of makes it look a little more like a bait fish when it's in the water. Especially when you're out on Erie, this water can get clear sometimes. And even in that dingier water on these high sunny days, that UV tape is just gonna give you a little more reflective down there um, to mimic a bait fish. And there we got another fish on. I'll go ahead and show you guys this fish. So once again, not a giant, but solid fish. Good one to throw in the live well here uh, when we're out here keeping some fish. So go ahead, we'll get this one put in the live well with the other one and see what we got on this board. Nice and spicy when they eat like this. Heavy one? Yeah. 
No. Oh yeah. Inside. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's all right, Johnny. I'll let you reel in my. Jeff, you, you just want to watch the boat so we don't yeah. spin in a circle. <laughs> 45. Not hooked very well. Watch your faces. Got him. Woo! That's a nice double. That's a that's a freaking fat. That's a nice one. Just so you guys can get an idea. Just so you guys can get an idea of how big some of these fish are. We'll go ahead and throw it on the pump. It is. 24 and three quarter just touching that three quarter line so once again another nice one to throw in the box but i mean this is pretty much like the average size that we've been getting uh, we've definitely been getting some tanks to those 29s 28s those things have been fat we've actually been getting quite a few uh pre or a post spawn fish too as well that water kind of warmed up a little bit and fish are starting to do their thing but there's still a good fair share of pre-spawners in there and those are the ones we want to show you today. It's about time Max gets the real one in. All right, we just got the hooks out on that after I showed you guys that fish. And now this one went back. Hopefully the GoPro up front's getting it all. <clears throat> kind of cool to watch these boards go back, especially when it's on fire like this. How's this one feeling? Kind of small? Whenever we take the boards off, we always try to big. not <clears> leave <throat> a whole lot of slack in the line just because we want to make sure those fish stay on there. So whenever you take a board off, you want to keep the line as tight as you possibly can. Keep that bite, that bait tight in the fish's mouth. Yeah, it's not a giant, but it's another good, perfect, perfect eater. Ooh, this one's on a flicker minnow. Uh-oh. We might have to measure these. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good old-fashioned blue chrome flicker minnow, size 11. If any of you fish Lake Erie, you know blue chrome is like a staple out here in the sunny days. Good eater. We got to go ahead and measure that one along with one of the other small ones we got because we got a little bet going on in here in the boat. So we're going to get that one on the scale and then uh, see who's got the smallest fish. So far, so far, Jeff has got the smallest fish, but this one could be a little smaller. 12 seconds later. Oh, of course, it feels giant because John's got the rod. I would have grabbed it, but I didn't want to. Holy smokes. That's not a bad one. It's work. Another nice one. That actually is, that's a spawned out female. Nice and skinny. So yeah, they've definitely been spawning out here, but another nice fish. We're gonna get this one put into live well too. Keep setting some boards here and see if we can keep some stuff going. So nice work. Feels like a sturgeon. Well, new spot. First fish at the new spot. How's it feeling there? Feels like a fish on. It ain't no record breaker, I know that. No record breaker, he says. He said it feels like a fish though, well, that's good. Max says there was a sturgeon on the screen before. <sighs> Lots of sturgeon in Lake Erie. Yep. Actually looking like a big sheephead. It's feeling like a sheephead, yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect eater. Bring her home. That's nice what one. You want. Fish on the outside. Outside, outside, outside. Outside? Very good. Of course, it gets bigger because Johnny's got it. Yeah. Here we are again. <laughs> Best way to do this, front clip, take that off, keep that line tight, and grab the net. Ooh. Nice long ranger net, you can really reach out with this thing. Digging, staying down. 
Oh. Nice fish. That's yeah, not a bad one. We'll put them in the nest there. Nice. Well, that was a nice uh, triple. One right after another there. Baits out in the net. Getting cookie cutter size fish today, but we are definitely filling the live well up quick this morning. So another one. Cody, how about you reel on it? Okay, I can do that. This is this is when fishing is fun when it's fast and furious like this. <laughs> That's what I said yesterday too. Big head shakes. What do you think? It looks like a nice fish. What do you think of the chaos? I love it. That's the best part. <laughs> Just wait. All right. Yes. That's a freaking. That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh yeah. Let's see what he actually is here. Twenty-six. You can tell she's got some fat in her there though. Definitely getting spunky during the spawn here. Fish are spawning. Fish are kind of just getting all fired up, starting to put their feed bag on too after the spawn here, and we're getting some really nice fish. So this is what Lake Erie is made of. This fishery out here is incredible. Fish grow so fast, so much faster than any other body of water that we normally fish, and it's just a super fun fishery to come out to and put some nice fish in. So, so that last fish that we just caught actually just came on this fire tiger bait once again this is a walleye candy bandits you can tell you got that uv tape on there huge shout out to uh, russell gahagan for sending me a couple of these to try out here i told him i was heading out to lake erie and he said you got to try some of these baits so he hooked me up they definitely are working so once you get that bandit in the water today we're, we're marking a lot of fish up high for the fish that we are marking some of the fish actually we don't even mark just because they're so high in the water column so we're kind of keeping most of our baits up high running anywhere from 50 to 35 feet back behind the board. So this particular one, we had about 50 feet of line out behind the board. So I'm just gonna set that line counter to 50. We're, once again, just like in the last video that I posted, we're using offshore planer boards to get these baits away from the boat. Basically, this is just a, a device to get the lines away from the boat in an organized manner to help us fish more lines on each side. Here in Ohio, on this body of water, we are allowed three rods per guy. Um, but today we are running eight lines. Now we'll basically just slowly let this out behind the boat and kind of line them up again and keep fishing. So stick with us, stay tuned. Hopefully we get on some more fish. I'll grab this one though. That a boy. <laughs> yeah, redeem yourself. Yeah, redeem yourself now. That's three. Yeah. Yeah. Is that I'm gonna try and get him up on the water and just ski him in here. That's a good one for the box. We'll throw him in the grease tonight. Real similar to the color I just put out there. That walleye didn't go 20. He definitely tried to eat this one uh, tail first. Hooks are down its throat. Well, that last fish came on that bait right there. Once again, another walleye candy bait from Russ there, but another gorgeous fish. This one ate it, literally. That's why it's bleeding so bad. So I'm gonna get this one put in the live well here. And as we were messing with that fish, we actually hooked up on another one. So we're gonna grab this one in. See how big this one is? Put him in the box and we're having ourselves a day. Right under me. What's your clicker say? Shouldn't be too far, right? Yeah. I'm at like 42. Nice one. That bait is hot today. Yeah, this bait has caught a lot of fish. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the fish we end on for today. Gorgeous Lake Erie walleye once again, probably in that 24, 25 inch range. Perfect ones to be bringing home. Uh, the DNR act actually is suggesting that people keep fish out of this fishery right now. And that's why they actually raised the limit up to six fish per person. Uh, there's a lot of walleyes in this system. 
Uh, the spawn every year is phenomenal and this lake is just a walleye factory. So it's definitely a lake you wanna come out to if you have never been here, definitely come try it. There's a lot of charter boats out here if you don't have a boat for yourself. Um, there's a lot of guys out here that are dialed on fish and it'll definitely get you out here in the spring to bring home some fish and catch some giants too as well. So awesome fish. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in the live well and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Later. That is where we are gonna end today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I know it was a trolling video, a little less exciting than some of the casting videos that we've been posting up in Green Bay. But I thought I would just take you guys along on a little trip out here on Lake Erie in Ohio. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, if you haven't been out here, definitely come out and give it a try. Um, it's a very, very exciting, fun bite, basically starting from March all the way through May, June, and uh, all the way through fall too as well. Like I said, this lake is basically just a walleye factory. There's walleyes all over it pretty much every time of the year and you can always come out here and get on some nice fish. So thank you guys again so much for tuning into today's video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, go down, smash the subscribe button down below. I'll be posting some more content um, here shortly, some, some more walleye content from Green Bay here very, very shortly. Um, if I do have a couple of nice days again, um, within the, the week here before we leave. I'll definitely pull the cameras out and try filming another video for you guys out here. But if it is not out here, the next videos you see will be back in Green Bay. So we will catch you on the next video. As always, keep living your dream. We'll see you next time. Peace.